son of Julia moving out. No, Colin, I'm just going away for the weekend to see my parents oh. and Daphne. Daphne? Yep. She's pregnant again. Really? Yeah, she had seven last time, Michael. Seven? <laughs> yep. Well, is she all right? Oh, Daphne is fantastic like that. The very next day, she was out in the paddock rolling around in the manure. <laughs> it's probably the shock. <laughs> Daphne's a pig, Colin. I think she's a person with problems who you... No, Colin, pigs don't have problems. You don't know very much about the country, do you? Yes, I've been on quite a few school excursions. <laughs> so I know quite a bit about, you know, sheep and, and cows and, and those big fans. What, what fans? The, the big fans that go round and round and keep all the sheep and cows cool. <laughs> Windmill? Yes, they might be called windmills. Uh, Colin, I told you there's to be no more pinning up posters, please. The place is starting to look like a zoo. Julia, I'm just trying to give this house a little bit of style. Will you practice that in your bedroom, please? Michael, will you be a big boy? Load this into the car for me. Hey, Guru. I think I can probably manage that, Julia. <laughs> Colin, I like a little bit of humour as much as the next person, but poking fun at little people is not funny. <laughs> Colin, I like a joke just as much as the next bloke, but poking fun at little people is just not... Colin! Yes, Elsie! Hi, what can I do for you? I've had the police next door. Police? I was burgled last night. C come and sit down here. Come on. I was wondering, did you see or hear anything last night? Anything suspicious? Yes. No, I was asleep. <laughs> oh, well. I wouldn't mind so much, only they stole my father's pocket watch. He gave it to me when I was a girl. Oh, it must be really old. <laughs> well, Julia's off. Yes, I know that one. Oh, hi, Elsie. Hello, dear. Elsie had a visitor last night. A visitor? Mm. <laughs> a burglar, Michael. Oh, I'm sorry. Did, um, did they take anything? Yes, burglars usually do. <laughs> Only a family heirloom. As well as the pocket wash. <laughs> I think I'd better go, boys. Oh, uh, look, go out the back and over the fence, Elsa. It's quicker. No, no. <laughs> Use the gate, Elsie. Keep an eye out, won't you? Don't worry, Elsie. We'll keep our eyes peeled. <laughs> I think we should join Neighbourhood Watch. Michael, we do not need Neighbourhood Watch. I shall take care of things. Colin, these contraptions of yours never work. C Michael, this one is foolproof. Plan A. The burglar brushes past that string, which for security reasons I shall refer to as the string. <laughs> it is then attached to this rotary effect here, which for security reasons I shall call rotary effect. <laughs> Follow me. Now, this string mechanism stashes to that uh, little uh, suit bowl, then it comes across here to the spatula, it comes around the fridge for strength. This little uh, catch string here, which the burglar shall trip up on when he comes through the door, sets off this mechanism here, which is a uh, saucepan full of marbles, which shall tip onto the burglar's head, thus rendering him unconscious. <laughs> it's, it's very good. It's very clever. Well done. But what happens if I trip over it? Michael, you are not a burglar. <laughs> Plan B. Oh, yeah, what might that be? Let's join Neighbourhood Watch. Good idea. So, 
Although crime in Pittswood is on the rise, together as a community we can combat it. Now, are there any questions? Yes. Um, are there any more cheesels? <laughs> I think on that note, I can bring this neighbourhood watch meeting to a close. <clears throat> ah, ah, that was a very entertaining meeting. Ah, the latecomer. Yeah. Glad you could come along. Uh, my name's Colin Carpenter, by the way. Terence Berry. Terry Berry. <laughs> Terence. All right. <laughs> You're from number 33, aren't you? How, how, how do you know that? Well, I keep my ear to the ground. <laughs> In neighbourhood watch, you have to. Doesn't it, it get a bit dirty? No, a crime is a dirty business, Colin. Oh, yeah. Do you realise that in the metropolitan area, someone has burgled every 30 seconds? Gee, you, you reckon they'd move out? <laughs> Pittswood is a veritable, veritable hotbed of, of, of criminal activity. There's larceny, assault, squatters. S squatters? You know, people who break into empty houses and squat. <laughs> By the way, I hope you don't mind me mentioning this, but uh, do you think you could do something about that pile of, of, of rusty machinery on your nature strip? Julia's car. Mm. <laughs> Kindly have it removed. Tidy neighbourhood is a friendly neighbourhood. Yes, yes, indeed. We have to work very hard to improve Pittswood's image. We want this suburb to attract the right kind of person. Uh, such, such as? Well, take my family. What now? Oh. We're all active in the community. My wife does a lot of charity work. My kids go to boarding school. Boarding school? Yeah, so they sleep at the school. I used to do that. <laughs> Board? Yeah, most of the time. <laughs> what we really have to do is try to weed out the undesirable element. You know, the, the deadbeats, the long-term unemployed. <laughs> I don't know any of those people at all. <laughs> Michael! <laughs> Hi, uh, may I introduce you to mine and your host, um, Michael Preble. This is Terry Berry. <laughs> Terence. Pleased to meet you. Uh, we've, you've got one of our uh, ultraviolet marking pens, I see. Uh, yeah. Um, how does it work? <laughs> well, you just mark your identification on your valuables. And if your property is stolen and the police recover it, they know it's yours. Right. Um, can we borrow this? Just leave a deposit with my wife, Beryl. Ah, Norman, excuse me. <laughs> what, what is so funny? <laughs> Your wife's name is Beryl. <laughs> so? <laughs> Beryl Berry and Terry Berry. <laughs> Let's see, what are we going to call you? What's a good name for a burglar? How about... Nick? <laughs> <laughs> it's Adrian. <laughs> Ad Adrian? <laughs> it's a pretty wussy name for a burglar. What's going on, Colin? Ah, Michael. Oh, I was just having a little chat to Adrian here. Adrian, this is Michael, he's a greenie. Michael, this is Adrian, he's a burglar. A burglar? Yes, so I caught him right in the act. Colin? Have you called the police? No, I called Dial a Pizza, Michael. <laughs> of course I call the police. Did you have any trouble? Look, no, I didn't. It's only the press button phones I had no, trouble Colin? with. Colin? Right. Was there a struggle? No, Michael, I didn't need to subdue him with my karate. Colin, you don't know karate. Oh, thank you, Michael. <laughs> anyway, I forced him into submission with my fists of steel. <laughs> I slept on a marble. Oh, thank you, Adrian. <laughs> well, Colin, who tied him up? Oh, he tied himself up, Michael. What, why are you asking so many stupid questions? I'm, I'm sorry, Colin, I didn't realise you could tie knots. I was in Cubs. <laughs> now, Adrian, what was it that you were so intent on stealing? Well, 
By the look of this place, I think I wasted my time. What do you mean by that? It's a dump. I'm sorry. If we were knew you were going to come over and burgle us, we would have redecorated. Well, I mean, the place looks like a zoo. I will have you know, Adrian, that we do have some very valuable possessions in this house. Yes. Oh, yeah, such as? Well, there's Michael's CD player, and he keeps a lot of cash in a yeah, jar under all the All right, bed. thank you. <laughs> Look, I'll handle this if you don't mind. Look, come on, please. Thank you. All right, now, Adrian, just tell me why it is you feel the need to steal. Oh, you sound like Darren Hinch. <laughs> Do you mind? Now, you can trust me, Adrian. Just tell me... Why do you think you steal? Why do I think I steal? My father died a couple of years ago. He left my mum and my five brothers and sisters with nothing. I was the oldest in the family, so I came down to the city trying to get some work. There was nothing. I've been on the streets for the last six months, living in brotherhood bins. I have to do this to survive. See, see Colin? He, he, here it is, at the, the root of the problem. It's one of this young guy steal. He's had a horrible childhood. It's, it's okay. Take it easy. So, I'll go make you a nice hot cup of tea, okay? Sure, you sucked him in, didn't you? <laughs> hey. What do you do? Do your parents know you're a bird? What? Of course they don't. I'm not going to spew when I find out. Especially Dad. Mm. You get along with your dad? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I don't. I didn't know you knew him. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I don't get along with my dad. Oh, right. He's a pain. He never lets me do anything I want. What, like breaking into other people's houses? <laughs> no, look, I mean, he's strict. Mm. Oh, is that really true about having five brothers and sisters, or is that just a load of crap? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, just an older brother. Yeah, so have I. Yeah, he's better than me at everything. You oh, know. so is mine, you know, but well, Peter can do things so much better than Colin. <laughs> you know, he always beat me at school. Really? Yeah, he got D's. <laughs> My dad's always going on about how smart my brother is, how I'm no good at anything, eh? Well, I've got to say, you're pretty pathetic at being a burglar. <laughs> well, I've only done it once before. Was that when you burgled next door? I didn't. Oh. Well, I just wondered, you know, because... the poor old lady next door who's so nice lost... a very important possession of hers. It was a pocket watch her father gave her. She was... She was very upset. Well, I don't know anything about that. No, well, I guess we'll just have to wait for the police to arrive. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Here you go. Oh. Uh, Colin, un untie the ropes. Oh, don't bother. Thank you. <laughs> it's called a quick release knot that I need for the cubs. Venetian blinds just have to go, okay? Mm. Replace them with some nice vertical drapes or something. Yeah. The kitchen has to be a light area, you know? What, uh, a pastel or...? Hey, excuse me. Are we playing cards or not? <laughs> My turn? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, I'll buy one. And another one. And another one. <laughs> Five and under, be that. Colin, you busted. G language, Michael? <laughs> Colin, look, you've got four kings of uh, four and a nine. That's 43. <laughs> yeah, not bad, eh? <laughs> Colin, look, all right, forget it. Let's play something else. Do you know any other games? Yeah, heaps. 500? No, no not that many. <laughs> Adrian, what would you like to play? Are you a social worker? D I have had some basic training. Uh, he sells paint. <laughs> Home improvement goods, Colin. Well, it's a pity you don't use them around here. I've had about enough of your remarks. Can't wait for the police to get here. Excuse me. Where are you going? To the toilet. 
Well, Colin, go with him, please. Michael, I think he's quite capable of going to the toilet on his own. Colin, he's a burglar. Michael, I don't think he's going to stool the toilet. <laughs> no, Colin, but he might try and escape. Oh, yes. Down the bowl, through the S-Bend and out to freedom. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he's trying to escape at all. I think he's doing his best to get caught. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny, eh, Aid? You know, wanting to get caught just so you could get back at your dad. <laughs> Come this way. OK? Yeah. Well, where's Adrian? Oh, he's escaped. <laughs> Why didn't you go in there with him? Michael, I think there are some things that you need to do on your own. All right, Colin, what are you going to tell the police when they get here? Don't worry about that. I didn't call the police. You what? I really did call Dial the Pizza. <laughs> we could go halves in an Hawaiian. <laughs> What are you doing, Paul? I am still trying to inject a little bit of stall into this house. You're just doing this because that burglar said this place was a dump, aren't you? Well, well he did have a point, Michael. I mean, <laughs> your posters are a little bit dorky. What about your posters? Yes, I am taking my posters down as well. I'm just going to leave the gorilla one up. Why? Reminds me of Julia. <laughs> Actually, what your dress up and over the chair, you'll be right. No, Let's go come, on. On. <laughs> come through here, Elsie. Oh, doing the spring cleaning. Yeah, we are doing a little bit of a clean up. Uh, that should take some time. <laughs> oh, boys, I've got a, a, a nice little lounge suite. It's quite modern, but it doesn't fit into my house. Would you like it? Yeah. That, that'd be great. Right. Mm -hmm. Guess what I found on my doorstep this morning? Knowing your cats, I can imagine. <laughs> it was wrapped up in brown paper. That's what I call a house train. <laughs> it's the pocket watch. My father's pocket watch. Look. <sighs> the burglar brought it back. Fancy that. <laughs> Uh, hi, Mr. Behrens. <laughs> Terry. Um, you removed that car from the nature strip, I see. Yeah, we have. We have a coin up. No, I'm delighted. A tidy neighbourhood is a happy neighbourhood, eh? Yes, indeed. <laughs> Gee, uh, you know, you've really got a nice house here. We like it. It's a bit cramped. We may have to knock through some walls. Oh, yeah, oh, I've done that. Do you renovate it? <laughs> no, accelerated. <laughs> Julia's car through the garage wall by mistake. What can I do for you? Oh, oh well, I've just come to return the ultra-violent marking pen. Ah, I'll get your deposit for you. Son, would you bring me in my wallet, please? Here it is, Dad. Uh, thank you. Adrian. Hi, Colin. I didn't know you two had met before. Oh, yeah. Whereabouts? He came around to play marbles one night. <laughs> what? Stop! Stop! Okay, yeah, Stop. take it off. Take it off. Ta -da. Ta -da. Wow! Gosh, we've got new furniture. Yeah. And the place looks so tidy. Yeah. What happened? We had a burglar. <laughs> It's a long story, Julie. I'll explain later. <laughs> so, how was your folks' place? Oh, same as usual. We just dragged around. Definitely had eight piglets. Eight piglets? Yes, we named them after the seven dwarfs. <laughs> oh, all right. Sleepy, dopey, sleazy, Mark, Matthew, Luke, John. <laughs> What'd you call eight one? What? Well, you said you had eight piglets and you named them after the seven dwarfs, so what'd you, what'd you call the eighth piglet? Butter. Sorry? Nothing. 
Oh, I really like these couches. It's lovely. Mm, thanks. <laughs> Gee, the country air seems to have done you a bit of good, Julia. Oh, I've got a surprise for you. Yeah. What is it? Something from the farm. <laughs> what is it? Eggs? <laughs> no, not eggs. Bacon! Oh. <laughs> Just for a pet, Michael. Oh, a pet? I'll go get a little box for him. You're a very cute little pig, aren't you, Colin? First of five.